Hello, and this is Torch, my son Torch Basics 101. And this is just going to be a quick um, tutorial on, like, basically the basic properties of Redstone Torch, and I'll teach it to you quickly. So, let's begin. A Redstone Torch is a power source, so we'll power um, a line of Redstone for 15 blocks, as usual. Um, what should I do next? Oh, yes. A redstone torch can power the block above it, which will go on for 15 blocks. If there's a block above a redstone torch with torches on it, all the torches, no matter where they are placed, will be turned off. A torch tower is something like this. So, it's a, it's a pattern of one torch here, um, and it powers the next one, which doesn't power the next one, which doesn't power the next one, which no, will invert its signal. A block above a redstone torch will power, will power, even without any redstone on it, the block, so that it will power at both levels not only at one level, as shown here. A redstone torch can be inverted via other mechanisms, as I shown over there. So, so, this isn't inverting, this is on and this is on, but this is inverting, this is off and this is off. Another type of torch tower is like this. It's much more compact, and there's and there's one thing inverting there, which inverts, which changes that, which is that's on that 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 powers that block, so this is off. That doesn't power that block, so that's on, and that powers that block, so that's off. You can do that infinitely. This has been all of it for Redstone Torch Basics. I hope you liked. If you liked it, could you please leave a like? And if you really liked it, could you please leave a subscribe? And bye bye.